Hello, this is Bob Floyd with the Twin Cities Bike Club. Today I'll be demonstrating Ride with GPS to create a new route from scratch. The first thing we'll want to do is move to the Ride Start. I find the simplest way to do that is just to type in the location, jump to a location box here, and I'll type, in this case, white Bear Lake, Minnesota. Then hit the Go button. And this is only near my ride start. So it, it made a guess, and uh, the guess is never going to be right on where you want it to be. So I'll just say Remove Marker. And that took care of that. I'm just going to drag the screen to where I want the ride start to be. That's it was pretty close though. Okay. So I happen to know that this is a good spot to start a ride on Bloom Avenue, so I'll click and it'll drop the green ride start marker. If I switch to satellite view and zoom in a little bit. You'll see I'm right alongside a real nice parking lot. So I'll zoom back out, switch to map view, zoom out a little bit more, if I can get a little bit more perspective, and I'll just click on the uh, next point on the route. And so I'll, I want to make a right turn on 6th Street, so I click there on 6th Street, and uh, I'll click up here farther, and you can see that it, it filled in for me. It uh, guessed accurately. It, there wasn't much choice but to be accurate the way I had done it, and uh, I'll just keep going. So now I'm going around Bald Eagle Lake, just clicking, not having much trouble. I'll zoom out a little bit so I can make bigger clicks. And uh, move right around the lake here. I'm going to go up Europa Trail and Across the freeway or the uh, highway on 130th Street, and let's say that uh, I changed my mind and I really wanted to go up Femway Avenue. Well, you can drag this dot right over where you rather it be, and there we are. Now you can see over in this area that that uh, we are set for follow roads and cycling. That happens to be the way it came up, but it could just as well come up driving, follow roads and driving. Uh, the difference is that cycling, it will try to, Ride with GPS will try to find paths that uh, you can ride on and you can see that has happened. You can see that it has chosen paths here. W way back in this area. Now if I really wanted to be on the roads, I can drag this back onto the road and now I see that it's correct all the way up to where I was. And uh, you want to make the distinction with what type of ride you're doing. Is it going to be on bike paths, sidewalks, whatever, or is it going to be on streets or some of each? So you'll have to be cognizant of whether you're in driving mode or cycling mode. So I'll drop 
<clears throat> drop back on my zoom level and uh, we'll go down Egg Lake Road and uh, let's just say we really wanted to go down good view onto 132nd here change my mind say so now I just as you can I'll just undo that and show it one more time there was no dot here when I hover the cursor near the the route I can just click and drag and move the route over usually it'll do what you want but occasionally it it won't uh, you know your wishes may not be fulfilled so you have to watch what it does another thing is if you're clicking along here and you you accidentally hit there I, I hit an intersection and if you look at the cue sheet down here it thinks I turned left on 140th when really my next click was going to be down here and now you can see that I've got just a little miscommunication here I'm turn left to stay on 140th and turn turn left uh, you know 0, 0.0 miles later and get back on to Ielton so that's an error that you uh, want to watch out for and you can fix it just by dragging that dot away so at this point I think I'll head back to uh, the ride start and you can make some pretty long clicks and probably they'll be right but you you need to watch what you're doing uh, so I'm, I think I got a bad click there it looks a little bit wrong you can see I made a mistake there it's a little bit off I'll just drag it back where I want it and uh, head back to the ride start this way and to make sure that you get fairly close you can zoom in for your last click and this icon here is the uh, like view the whole route icon we get some data here 20.9 miles only a moderate amount of climbing and then along the bottom you can get you see the profile of the climbing and you can as I drag along down here you can see the blue dot that was up here or if I'm moving the blue dot you can see down below the uh, where the hills are and the grade of the hill like at the moment it's minus three percent or minus one percent so that can give you an idea where the rough spots might be for uh, certain riders or whatever so now I'm just gonna save the route and hit click the saved save icon and I'll just give it a, a name test one I'll say that it's cycling and uh, since I don't really want this floating around out public I'm just saying just me private and it's it's not a trip it's a route creation so you'd say no that it's not a trip if you uh, feel like putting in something about what the pavement was like go ahead but I don't ever bother so anyway I'll save it now it'll it's it's saved and it will I, I always take the option view your route now if you were to continue editing you can get pretty confused and end up with a whole bunch of routes named test one so you, you really need to after saving view your route and then go back and edit it or you could end up with six routes or ten routes that are all named the same and 
ride with GPS lets you repeat names forever and really the route name is this number the true route identification is that number and the name is is uh, in this case test one so uh, I think that concludes our first lesson bye now